good morning and welcome back. Beginning with this week's video, we're going to be making a checkerboard. And it'll be a four-part series. And this is going to be a checkerboard uh, with a little cabinet and a drawer to house the checkers. And in just a minute, you'll see some characteristics of it and what it, the end product is going to look like. But in this first video, we're going to focus on cutting the pieces uh, and the stock and preparing it for uh, for construction and, and we'll actually build the playing field and cut all the pieces and glue them down to the substrate so uh, it was a real interesting project and it turned out quite nice and we hope you enjoy it appreciate you tuning in now let's look at some of the characteristics of this checkerboard We'll start with the fact that it's frame and panel, meaning that the top playing field is, as you'll see in the video, the squares are glued down to a, a substrate, and then there's a frame with 45 degree miters. I have put white oak in between the frame and the field, just to kind of separate it a little bit. The bottom is the same. It's a frame and panel construction with mahogany and that panel is white oak. This is mahogany and maple for the playing field. The drawer construction, as you can see, it's a short little drawer. It's just simple rabbit construction here with a false front glued. Uh, the drawer was fashioned to hold the checkers here and then a little storage space behind and there's two magnets there's a divider here and there's two uh, magnets in that divider that catch these two screws to snap it shut and it's very simple but very effective. You can see it's pretty strong. So that's the characteristics of it. Each square is two inches by two inches. With that, let's begin the construction of this. First thing I'll do is cut the maple and the mesquite into strips of about two and a quarter inches wide. Next on the bandsaw, I'm going to resaw them to three eighths of an inch. Now that I've got my strips of maple and mahogany cut and resaw, now I'm going to run them through my Performax drum sander to get rid of the resaw foam. I think I've got the boards laid out for the checkerboard on the orientation that I want. <coughs> I'm going to number them so that when I go back together with it, I'll have a continuity of grain. So we'll start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those will be extras.
too. And you get them all cut now and know how to go back with them. Actually, when it goes back together, it'll be this number one, and then that number one, and then a number two, and then that number two. So. I have a cross cut sled set up the exact width dimension of our what's going to be our squares for our chessboard, checkerboard. And now it's just a matter of cutting all 64 of them so that we can uh, then put them together. got the router table set up with a chamfer bit and I've got it set to give a 1 16th inch chamfer and we'll do all four sides of all 64 pieces and it'll be uh, make it look like the field is raised a little bit. Okay, so there's our field. Each one has a chamfer on it. I have each one of them numbered because each series came out of a board and I wanted the grain continuity across the board, both on the mahogany and on the maple. That's why they're numbered. I'm ready to start gluing the individual squares down to the substrate. It's just a 3 16 inch piece of luan. And I've got a square set up to get the field started and keep it square. I've got a 7 16 inch overhang right here. And I'm going to glue them down with CA glue. I'll video the first row, but there's uh, no point in videoing all 64 tiles. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you are enjoying the building of this checkerboard. 
as you saw, we, we got the playing field mounted. In next week's video, or part two of our checkerboard series, we're going to look at cutting some thin stock for the top frame that will set in between the playing field and the frame. We're going to look at uh, machining the stock for the cabinet and for the two frames for the top and the bottom. And we're also going to begin work on the drawer itself. So we hope you, you stay tuned for that. And I'm glad you tuned in for part one of it. If it's your first time with us, we ask that you subscribe to my channel. And leave us a comment about what you think or any ideas that you have. And like our video. Give us a thumbs up. It always helps us uh, when you do that. And we enjoy the interaction with everybody. I'll leave all the uh, information, uh, social media information, down in the comments below. My website, my Instagram, my Facebook, how I can be reached. Also, be on the lookout. We're going to have an announcement about a pen swap this year. The LLWW 2016 pen swap. So be watching for that video if you're interested in joining that. Glad you tuned in. We appreciate it. And until next time, be safe.